New Orleans is one of my favorite cities on the planet. The culture is like nowhere else you've ever been. It's the birthplace of the cocktail, the go cup, drive through daiquiri shops, and it's filled with world-renowned restaurants, iconic bars, unique hotels, and festivals that attract people from all over the planet. Every aspect of the hospitality business is represented here, driven by scores of hospitality professionals that take pride in making a business out of having fun. And it was all going strong, with Mardi Gras followed by St. Patrick's Day, then it stopped. Coronavirus hit. Tonight, beginning at midnight, we're going to further limit the size of gatherings to fewer than 50 people. We're closing casinos, bars, movie theaters, gyms, and fitness centers, and we're going to limit restaurants to takeout, delivery, and drive through orders only. Even though it was the right thing to do, it could not have come at a worse time for New Orleans. The next two months is the heart of festival season. All of the fairs, festivals, concerts, attractions, and events were all either canceled or postponed indefinitely. It is unreal. The wildly successful French Quarter Festival brought in thousands. The Bourbon Festival was a showcase and a favorite. New Orleans wine and food experience, always a good show. Even the internationally acclaimed Jazz and Heritage Festival have all been canceled or postponed. New Orleans dried up. It was like a ghost town, something I have never seen before in my life. These photos were taken as I was driving through the French Quarter on a Friday afternoon. These streets are normally teeming with life. People from all over the place, visitors, tourists, and locals alike. Street music, lights, traffic, noise, everywhere. Not today. Believe it or not, this is Bourbon Street on a Friday afternoon. Coming up on the right is the Royal Sinesta Hotel. And further up on the left is the famous Door Saloon. Last year, an estimated 19.3 million people visited this city and consumed the many hospitality products and services New Orleans had to offer. They spent on average $25 million a day. Just under $6 million of that was spent on lodging another five and a half million a day on food and beverage, and three million on entertainment. Today it looks like a boarded up ghost town. Coronavirus has definitely left its mark. I thought this shot was appropriate. There's the bourbon cowboy. Galatoire's like I've never seen it before. Boarded and gated. The famous French 75 bar, great bar. And Felix's, who has some of the best gumbo on po' boys you'll ever find. And of course, Café du Monde, completely empty. While things look pretty empty and bleak right now, I'm confident New Orleans will come back. Hospitality is not just a skill set, it's a way of life here. Walk-Ons, a sports bistro based in Louisiana, is providing what they call furlough meals to hospitality workers free of charge. Everybody is helping out. A local barbecue shack is serving bagged lunches for their colleagues. Peyton Manning, who grew up here, donated 150 meals from Drago's to help people out. Branson Marsalis put on a concert benefiting service workers along with his pal Harry Connick Jr. Drew Brees and his wife donated $5 million to help with the coronavirus efforts. And Tyler Perry, who is also from New Orleans, bought groceries for everybody one morning. I think this town will come back strong. It always does. <laughs>